Most of the people ask which software is suitable for planning. The answer mostly refers to the client crate. What the client wants you need to implement. But my suggestion is when the project is complex with lots of work areas and subcontractors, it is better to use Primavera. Now let's talk about the differences between Primavera and MS Project. Here we mention 10 most important differences between these two softwares. In Primavera, you can get as many as baselines you can, but in MS Project, it is restricted. Just 11 baselines are allowed. In Primavera, multiple users can work on a single project, but in MS Project, this feature is not supported. Primavera allows risk recording, but MS Project is lack of this feature. Primavera allows multiple activities relationship. In other words, we can create more than one type of relationships between the activities. But MS Project allows only one type of relationship between activities. Primavera supports 200 columns, but MS Project just supports 30 columns. In Primavera, WBS is created separated from activity. It means WBS section is separated from activity section in Primavera. But this is not true in MS Project. In MS Project, activities are arranged to look like WBS. In Primavera, you can define any kind of milestones. But in MS Project, you cannot define start or finish milestones. You can directly convert any information into HTML in Primavera, there is, MS Project is lack of this function. Besides to the project expenses, Primavera allows you to define additional expenses like traveling cost or training cost, but MS Project is lack of this feature. Primavera is database based software, but MS Project is file-based software.